before the video starts, hey, this video is proudly sponsored by Apple. What's going on, everybody? Today we're not actually cooking. I'm showing you guys what I do sometimes. Blacksmithing. And no, this is 2019, not 1800s. But what I'm saying is these high metal things are very awesome. How I make these is a particular way. I just got out from, from some of my friends, but um, this is a very high cool noble. Um, I'm sure that's how you make this. So that's what you want to do. There's a lot of work to go into this. These metal rods are gonna pick it up and take it out. Yes, and this, if you like fire, this might be the correct video, but I'm not sure if your parents do not let you do not play with this type of stuff like these. It's a high chance of a warning. Do not be watching this video. Just in case. But they don't want me to I couldn't suit. So if you can watch it if you want. But I don't I don't want to have any risks of people getting in trouble. Because that's not what I like doing. I don't like people getting in trouble. Now yeah, it's a very, very small pan now. You place it on top of the fire very slowly. This thing is on top of the speed limit. This thing is very hot. And let's be a mock some of the most essentials. We pour a little bit of lee and pepper as Worcester sauce. It does not smell good when you're when you're with me, this is a prehistoric museum now. So if you ever want to be a new show called The Black, The Prehistoric Museum, I'm coming out to it works with this fine art and it works with some old techniques. Now, working with these types of things I mean big responsibility. Now, if you guys like hot stuff, this is the type of video. And what we do now, take a tiny cup, hold up, maybe it's halfway with water. Now what we do, this is a prehistoric, so do not try to sit home. That, this is prehistoric, and um, we try to keep this preserved. Come. Now we. Then, after we're ready, we put in the main course. Now that gets a good burn. Then we put it under the fire for a minute. We want this to get up to about 1,000 to 555,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That burns the top. That smells like burnt stuff. These types of videos you guys will probably most likely see me doing this a lot. Because this is very prehistoric. And then what we do is we have this metal thing. This scrapes away some of the gunk. Heats it up to over a thousand degrees. Believe me. Now we take off the disgusting pan and pump it up with one smoke itself. This cools it down. I would not suggest doing it, but this does clean off the disgusting stuff. And now you slowly, surely peel away. So, but what do you want? So if you do not know how you clean it off, that is a bad thing. But that's not always a bad thing, so you can easily but surely. 
Clean it up with some soap. Soap will instantly evaporate some of that crap. And then just let it let it set at the end of your corner all day. That will clean off the thing. But back to this. After the fire is done, you want to get out something big. This is a big item, so not too big. But it sort of takes off some of the some of the parts of it. get a tiny big hammer. Now what you do is you well then you get it lined up. This thing lined up. Sounds like burnt metal now. Get the thing burn up. And you wanna hit it. That way will make it shine. Then you turn up your heat up to full stage. This, you all know, is a very high technique. Uh, for this prehistoric museum, it is a privilege. Now watching us do this is very hard. Getting it burnt. We hit it. That makes the shape. And we're trying to make here a cool tiny shizzle. We flip it over now. Please be very careful when you're doing this. It's going to be very hot, believe me. And what we do is we grab some of these. These things are very cool. Hold it. Not that strong. Not very strong type of metal, but it does the job. That will sort of burn the bottom. After the burning's done, do you to roll it? Well, this is around 5,850 million degrees at the moment. What you want to do is you want to get some cold, nice water if you want to burn hands for purposes. Do that as you drop it in there. Now, the water will instantly take down that sensation now. The water is very fragile, so you do not want to do that much with it. Now, now for the second part of this video, it's going to be a long time. You guys might hear a couple sounds because I just flipped my camera over because I have to get a lot of work done here. I got a lot of stuff there going. Well, it's going now, what we're going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen. We pour wine. Yeah, wine. Straight into a bucket of water. This is a technique that can color code it. Now, this is a type of suggestion that all you fancy people probably want to do. Then you instantly stir it after adding some a little bit of salt. Weeks. What's the shit of shire shots? This stuff makes a consistency of professionals. But then you add a little bit of Coke, if you could, or a little bit of tomato sauce. We add a mix of different stuff. And back in a long time ago, there was people that, which we have caught now, a long time ago, we people added, um, Different stuff such as coffee, which we have it right here. We pour water in the coffee, and we'll get mixed together into the mix of different colors. The coffee will mix together, making a really big concoction. Other people back in the day used peanut butter, which we have here, but we're not using peanut butter. Um, this is a prehistoric museum. 
We have salt. They add a lot of salt to those types of foods back then. And for a couple days, in about a couple days, you know what's going to happen? You're about to see my entire studio be a school. That's a part of this. It's called an IED. And that is a special type of report that is going to mark what I do and what you learn. You guys, this is basically you're watching a school channel, an educational channel, like right now. So now what we do is we add whatever we have in our pantry. Now, this is probably the most fun we're going to have. So what you do is you, you're going to add the main course in. So this is the, it's very hot. We are going to heat this the top up, maybe around a thousand degrees. Then we drop it into the hottest water known to man. Drop it in, boom, straight in there. I'll clean it off. Then we put it back. After that, we take it out. We move this giant bit of liquid. And watch what happens when this touches the water. It will not do that much. But now, since it's super smoky, we now can use some cool techniques with it. Move water around it, and it will completely turn it off. That's how. Now, we're done with our was our particular museum. Now, let's get into what our next show will be. See you guys in just one minute.